you had to retire in order to have an effect in the world you had to take yourself out of the world Louis Althusser used to say quoting Spinoza that the concept of dog does not bark that if you want to think about the dog you have to quit you have to abandon the real dog the barking dog with his body his flesh his wounds maybe his life and his death and you had to go in the world of pure ideas in which the concept of dog has nothing to do with the real dog but has to do with the concept of cat with the concept of man with the concept of pet animal with the concept of vivi whatsoever Louis Althusser taught us that in order to be a real committed intellectual because he was a communist and when I came to Bangladesh by the way it was Malraux but it was also Charles Bettelheim who was the specialist in France of Chinese uh, rev revolution in China and all this uh, Asiatic uh, area of tempest of uh, storms and Charles Bettelheim I was sent to him by Louis Althusser but the first commandment of Althusser was to discard the things to discard the world in order to understand it and in order to act on it it was not a Platonician attitude Plato would say that forget the real world just look at the ideas no Althusser, Betterline said don't forget the real world but in order to, rem to remember it in order to, to intervene on it you have to look somewhere else you have to stay in the pure area of pure concepts this was an attitude and it was a temptation now you had another temptation which was very strong in my epoch maybe still today these temptations are of ever but I try to tell you very accurately what was the, my state of mind at this time it was the temptation I would say of Malarmé Malarmé it was not Althusser it was something else it was a sort of cult of purity it was a, theory, a, a practice of literature as completely uh, transformed into a sort of religion a cult of the letter a culte de la lettre and Mallarmé the poet post-Baudelarian and uh, uh, modern poet author of an impossible book which he never really wrote as you know Mallarmé used to say that he knows no other real bomb the most real bomb is a pure world a pure and perfect world a pure rhyme in a poem is a bomb is stronger than a pistol shot this was another attitude then you had a few years before I came here there was a book which was published in France of a great man called Roger Stéphane I'm sure not very well known here even in France not so well known but great effect on intelligentsia of this time Roger Stéphane wrote a book called Le Portrait de l'Aventurier Portrait of the Adventurer with a great preface forward of Jean-Paul Sartre and Roger Stéphane and Jean-Paul Sartre in this book opposed to the ordinary attitude of commitment what they called l'aventurier which was a sort of estate of commitment who saw real history 
as a sort of um, stage for the um, uh, exposure um, of the mind, of the ego, of the feelings of the philosopher or the writer. The aventurier, according to Jean-Paul Sartre, was, for example, Lawrence d'Arabie, Lawrence of Arabia. It could be Byron in Missolonghi at the time of the